Good morning everyone, so today we're at a, a Renault, it's a DCI, so it's my friend's car, so his complaint is losing coolant. So what we've decided to do is put a, do a pressure test, so we've got the adapter, we've put it up to, what's that, about 14, 14 psi, so we're going to start the car and wait for a pressure rise, we'll look at that, and then we're going to leave it for 20 minutes and see if we get a pressure drop. So this is a Sites kit, uh, quite a comprehensive kit there, I think that's the number there, there's everything you get with it. So it's my friend George's. So, here we go. Right Stuart, go for it my man. Be the vacuum or anything like that. The rest of the the There's the proof. You can see that that the coolant is falling. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's yeah. it's going down. And our gauge is falling as well. And I think we've seen the exhaust was a wee bit heavy smoke. I think we've got a coolant leak. Head gasket job, I think. Hey, what are you have your Rev? Aye. Definitely. That's a lot, eh? Well, there's a nice sight, well. It's good and bad. We've got a leak, and uh, sure we're saying he put a new water pump on it, so it's probably coming for there. So we're no calling the head gasket yet. We'll wait and see anyway. Cheers. So <coughs> there's the kit number there. So that worked out pretty effective in finding that leak. So the cap that we used for this Renault was cap number seven. You can actually see here. It gives you quite a nice chart. Uh, I think I think Renault is all number seven in this kit, so that's quite good. It's actually better if you put this in laminate, and you would save the day. So uh, the guy who owns the garage, George, he's used this kit for a while. Really likes it. Quite an expensive kit, I think. I'll put a link in the description, but he likes it. It's up to the job. Anyway, there we go. We got to the bottom of that one quick. It's still leaking the new bit when it's running. It's obviously Stuart thinks it's coming out the water pump. He changed the timing belt and put a new water pump on it from maybe not a reputable supplier. <laughs> we'll wait and see what what was the, the kit called. Can I remember? Anyway, so I need to go back in there and check that water pump. Easier said than done. You've got to remove quite a lot of gubbins. There we go. Cheers. <laughs> 